tuned for Air Gun Detectives. Welcome to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. I'm your host, JC, and today we're going to take the mystery out of the AEA Element Max. This is part of their Big Boar series, so if those of you guys that are into hunting, you're really going to want to pay attention to this video. Anyway, before we get started on this, do me a favor if you hadn't already, hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. Won't cost you anything, it's absolutely free, but it really helps support the channel. Helps us keep doing what we're doing. Also, check out my website if you have the opportunity, www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, I've got various t-shirts, I've got hats, I've got my Generation 2 bipods, and I have some of my personal inventory, and I promise you more of it's going to be going out there. I just got to go through it. Uh, anyway, check it, because I usually only have one of everything, and when it's gone, it's gone. All right, let's get back to the rifle on hand here. This, again, is the Element Max. It comes in 45 caliber, 50 caliber, 510, and 58 caliber. But today, we're actually going to review the 50 caliber. I just kind of like the nice even number there, the 50 caliber. It just sounds so good. Anyway, this is a non-regulated pre-charge pneumatic. This has a 330 cc tank, and you actually fill it to 4,500 PSI. The gun itself, I mean, look at this thing is a hunter's dream. I'm telling you, it weigh, the gun itself by itself weighs five pounds. It's 37 inches overall. It does have a folding stock here. It's a AR style uh, stock, so you can uh, adjust it for your length of pull, however you want to set that up. Awesome. Awesome looking gun though, it really is. Uh, the barrel on it is 20 inches and it actually is threaded. So if you wanted to get a custom suppressor, you could, you could do that. So it does have a threaded uh, barrel. This is special, this rifle. So you've got, your, you've got your breech here. You open your breech and the way this is designed, you drop your pellet in and then you lock your breech and then it's got a manual hammer. You cock this hammer here and it can be decocked. So Think about the cool thing of that. You want this as a hunting rifle. You load around in the chamber and it doesn't have to be cocked. When you're ready to shoot it, you can cock it. So that's, that's pretty awesome. This does have a nice Picatinny rail set up on it. And as you guys can see, I've got the latest. This is a new Discovery Scope. And I'm really starting to like these because they're extremely affordable. And I told you guys before, I'm not even going to mention or bring an optic to you unless it piques my interest because I get a lot of inquiries from you guys about optics. Anyway, this is the new Discovery Optic. It's their high definition generation two. This is, check the size of this. This is a five by 30 by 56 and it has 34 millimeter tubes. And uh, it's got the illuminated uh, mill dot reticle, which is really cool. And these scopes, I picked this up, I'm trying to think, right around 300 bucks. These are around 300 bucks. So pretty awesome. So you're, we're going to get a double review. I'm going to show you guys or uh, talk about how this scope performs. And then we're also going to test the performance of this rifle. But we're going to do something a little different today. This 50 cal is pretty loud. And I'm going to say without a doubt, it is not backyard friendly. In fact, this thing, in my opinion, requires ear protection when you're firing it. So what we're going to do, and we did this for the Zeus, we're going to head out to my buddy's ranch. It's the Marie Helena Ranch. And uh, we're going to set up some targets and uh, we're going to go through our regular review out there. So like I said, this is just a little bit too loud. Plus, we'll be able to shoot this over 50 yards and see what type of grouping we get out of it. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be quite the adventure. So we're going to go and we'll go through our usual gamut, a test. And then we're going to come back here, sit down, and we're going to talk about our adventure. So stay tuned for the next segment. All right, let's test some uh, velocity on our Element Max here, our 50 cal. What we're going to be shooting today these are, uh, this is an American company, Made America, Proudly Made America. These are the uh, Nielsen Specialty Ammo, and he makes great slugs for these. So these are a .495, and they're 235 grain slugs, and they're a hollow point. So we're gonna be shooting these today. So let's put, uh, let's just put three over the chrono, and uh, we'll see how well we make out here. All right. Shot number one. 9-12. <laughs> this thing has a recoil. <laughs> you guys saw that. Okay. 
Shot number two. 868. And shot number three. 838. Well, that's some definite foot pounds of energy that we're putting out there without a doubt. So, as you can see, there's your average velocity and your foot pounds of energy. Pretty powerful gun, that's for sure. Let's move on to the next segment. Time for a little accuracy test here. And once again, we're gonna use these uh, Nielsen slugs. I'm telling you guys, these are amazing. I'm gonna show you some close-ups on how good looking of a slug these are. They're so smooth, and uh, so far we've just been getting some terrific results with them. But they're a uh, 235 grain slug. So we're gonna shoot five shots. We're gonna see how well we can group. We're honestly, we're a little over 50 yards here. Why don't you guys go check this out real quick and you can see where our target is. All right, so now um, we're gonna do some shooting and I've got this awesome Discovery Scope on here. This thing, they just came out with this. This is a new version. This is a new high definition version they have. And I told you guys before, I'm not gonna bring a scope out and even talk about it unless I really like it. Well, guess what? This one is absolutely amazing. I'm telling you, I think I could hit um, a small match tip at 50 to 60, 75 yards with this thing. It's that good. The glass on it is amazing. Anyway, let's see how well we do. Five shots. I'm going to go for grouping here. So if I don't hit in the dead bullseye, don't, don't get mad at me. All right, five shots. All right, nobody can be mad at me anyway. This does have a recoil, so you definitely have to compensate for that. All right, that was shot number one. Shot number two. Shot number three. Shot number four. Got one more. Hey, there we go. My slug fell backwards in the breach there. Okay, we're set though. All right, let's see, finish this up. Again, I can tell you guys, the optics on this is just simply amazing. Okay. I'll take that every time at 50 yards. Oh yeah, I'll take that every time. That's pretty amazing group. All right guys, let's uh, move on to the next segment. All right, let's do a trigger test here on our uh, element and uh, see uh, how much it takes to pull this thing. Uh, it's not bad, it really isn't, considering that it is a big caliber and there's a lot of pressure behind that. So, got our trusty Lyman trigger gauge. Let's see here. All right, we're roughly around three and a half pounds. It was three pounds, 4.6 ounces. Not a bad trigger at all, not whatsoever, it really is. Okay, so let's move on to the next segment. Hi right, guys, Max here. I'm out here at the ranch again, shooting a, another large caliber. Yeah, last time I was out here, I shot that Zeus. If you guys haven't seen that video, you gotta look it up on the website. It was a great video. Well, we're over here, just about 50 yards. Why don't you guys take a look out there? All right, 
So now uh, we got some plinking session going on here. Using the same bullets that we're using earlier, it's great accuracy and consistency. So we're doing a good job on that with these bullets. So we got uh, five targets down there. And uh, well, I think we're gonna take a look and see what we can knock out. We're gonna be taking out the, uh, the watermelon first and then moving down and over, okay? So we're using this 50 cal. I gotta say though, this uh, optic uh, is really a nice scope. It does line up really well. Where's my bolt here? Okay, there we go. Beautiful clarity on this thing. I keep forgetting about this gun. I gotta do that hammer. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. You know, when you know, a lot of people like to use this round for hunting. And two main things that you need to think about for that is accuracy and the uh, knockdown power. And I think we're looking pretty good for that. But let's test it on the cement, the cinder block and see how it does with that guy. Well, let me get... Okay. Yeah, that's got some power to it. It does have a bit of a recoil, but it's nothing that's really unmanageable. So the next thing we're going to do is take out the back target. We're going to take out that sheep back there. Let's see how it does hitting a metal target. These are the ones that we're always hitting at the 40 yard line. Oh, I hope we can find that. All right. Now we got our uh, our pan there. See if this guy has some penetration for that. We know it can go through cinder block. Now can it go through metal or is it just gonna bend it? Well, I think it went right through it. Last but not least, what's not, what's not to like? about having a nice beer after a day's worth of shooting. Oh, the cap. You know what? This thing is a beast. It will do such a great job and pair it up with these optics. I tell you, you I am uh, only like at 9 power and 50. This thing can go up so much higher than that. So it's a it's a great combination. Alright, I'm done with all the targets I've got unless I start wanting to shoot my stands. So I'll give it back to JC now. Alright, let's wrap this up with our conclusion. I have to tell you guys, that was a really fun time up at my buddy's ranch. It really was. We had a blast. And you know what? I want to thank Max for stepping in and doing the plinking. It gives me a little break once in a while. And uh, he did a good job on that. He really did. All right, let's talk about this rifle. Wow. I, wow is really what I want to say. I'd like to address some negatives on this, but honestly, guys, I don't have any negatives. What this rifle is designed for and its application, it's absolutely perfect. So let's just get right into the positives. This is an awesome rifle, and I'm going to say it's a hunter's dream. Without a doubt, this is a hunter's dream. First of all, think about it, it's five pounds, so it's nice and lightweight. It really is. Extremely accurate. I shot at a little over 50 yards. I shot a three quarter inch group, but here's the funny thing, and I didn't realize until I started editing. My target was really getting blown around. 
because uh, I had a PVC stand that was set up with a target, and the target was really moving with the wind. And I started thinking, my God, if there wouldn't have been any wind, I bet I would have shot a half-inch group, without a doubt. And those Nielsen slugs, I can't say enough good things about them. They're probably the best slugs I have ever seen. As far as the finish on them, they're so um, uniformed. And you saw the results that we got out of them. It was pretty incredible. Another great thing about this being a hunter's dream is the fact that you can chamber, you can chamber around, chamber your pellet, and then you have the hammer, which you don't have to cock until you're ready to shoot it. It's really nice. It still does have a manual safe down here, but it's kind of that extra, if you're hunting, it's that little extra safety. So you just pull that hammer back and you're ready to go. As far as shot count goes, okay, this is good for hunting because I charted this out. Go ahead and take a quick look at this for 10 shots because I think that's reasonable. Uh, the 10 shots, we averaged about 782 feet per second, 320 foot-pounds of energy, and that's with our 235 grain slug. Now, obviously, the first three shots is going to be at the top of the scale there, and you're going to get a little more velocity, that 850 to 900. So, But realistically, you got 10 shots that you're probably going to be able to use as far as hunting goes until this is going to need to be refilled. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. So as I said before, hunter's dream. Uh, it's even set up, like I said before, it's got the threaded barrel. If you want to put a suppressor on it, you can do that. All right, let me touch on the scope real quick. And I told you once again, guys, I don't like even mentioning the optics unless I'm impressed with it. If it's something good and it's a heck of a deal. First of all, let me tell you, this scope is right around 300 bucks. You shop around, you can get this for about 300 bucks. I've never seen so many features on a scope for 300 bucks, in all honesty. This is the new Discovery Optic. This is the high definition generation two. Again, it's a five by three by 56. It's got the side parallax. And when you actually uh, zoom this, it actually brings the reticle closer. So I'll show you a couple of pictures of what that looks like. So as it gets closer, the reticle gets larger, which I kind of like. So this, honestly, great glass. I'm really surprised at how clear it is. And uh, this held 0 0.0. We put probably 100 rounds through this thing in our testing. I was letting the different guys shoot it. And uh, they all said the same thing. The scope is just simply amazing. It really is. So this is one actually I would highly recommend. And uh, I'll try to leave the guys a link down below for it. So back to the rifle as far as rating it goes. I have no negatives. I really don't. So without a doubt, I'm going to give that rifle five stars. The scope itself, I might as well rate that for you. Again, you guys are always asking about different optics. So I found something good. I would say this is going to be five stars as well, especially at the price point, $300. Oh, if you guys are wondering what, the, what these rifles run, uh, right around that $800 mark. And our buddy Ben at the pellet shop, he carries these and he will take care of you as far as whatever questions you have service. He's awesome for that. So been at the pellet shop. I'll leave you guys a link down below. Also, uh, Utah Air Guns carries these as well. So you can reach out to them and I'll leave you guys uh, some info under the description tag. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Air Gun Detectives. And I have to tell you, we had a great time up at the ranch. When we were done shooting, we cooked a tri-tip had some cigars, a few beers, and hung out. So it was a really, really a good day. It really was overall. So it just makes the whole shooting experience that much, uh, that's much more rewarding, especially when you can hang out with your friends. So again, this is where you take the mystery out of the air gun. Until next time, I hope you and your families are getting a lot of shooting in. You guys are all healthy and you're doing well. So with that, until next time, take care and God bless.